In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Optifine 1.19 for Minecraft. Not only how to install Optifine, but I'm also going to teach you how to fix any problems you might have along the way, because it is needed to install Optifine 1.19 that you update the Java on your computer. Know that as of right now, the shaders are not working with the pre-release of Optifine 1.19, but probably in two, three days, they will be working. Let's get started. Step number one is to click the first link in the description, which will bring you to our written tutorial on how to download Optifine. The main thing here though, is to click on this button that says download Optifine here. Once you click there, it's going to redirect you to the Optifine download website. Now here, you're most likely gonna have a sign in here that says download Optifine 1.19, but in my case, it just says click for preview version because so far the only version of Optifine 1.19 that is out is this one, the pre one, okay? But don't worry, by the moment you come over here, this is already gonna be updated with the newest Optifine version because I'm gonna make sure of that. So go ahead and click on download. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds. Do not click anything, just wait five seconds for the download to start. Let's just wait for that. It's going to say skip over here on the top. You're gonna click on that. Then it's gonna bring you over here. And now we could click on download. There we go, that was my bad. We have to wait five seconds and click on that skip button on the top. And the download is going to start over here. Do not click on any add or anything. Just wait for that to finish downloading as we can see here in the bottom left. If you're using Chrome, if you're using Opera GX, the download might be on the top right. Let's go ahead and drop this into the desktop. Now we have Optifine, okay? But here's the thing. In order to run Optifine 1.19, since it is modern Minecraft, we need to update Java to the newest Java version on our computer because any modern Minecraft above 1.16.5 needs Java 18th to run successfully. So let's do that. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide. Feel free to scroll through the pages in here. We have a screenshots and everything. If you prefer written guides, this is the right place. The main thing here again is to click the download Java here. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to redirect you to this website. We're going to scroll down a little bit. Go ahead and click Java 18th, click Windows, and then it looks for the x64 installer as we can see right here and click on this blue link right here that is going to start the download immediately in this case you don't have to wait five seconds or click any skip button just click on this link the x64 installer and the download will start here in the bottom left let's go ahead and drop this file into the desktop as well as soon as it's finished downloading of course there we go we could drop it into the desktop and now we need to install java 18th but here's the problem sometimes when you try to run java 18th since you haven't installed java previously or you might have an older version these little cups in here might not appear or they might appear and be wrong when you try to run it it might crash on you or something like that and in order to fix that problem you need to run a jar fix running a jar fix is quite simple just click on the third link in the description again our written tutorial on how to run a jar fix just click on this button right here that says download jar fix here the main thing that is going to redirect you over here where I made sure that it puts you exactly where you need to be to download the jarfix.exe. Go ahead and click on this line that says jarfix.exe. Once you click on that, the download will start here immediately in the bottom left. It should say something like jarfix, just jarfix. Mine says jarfix20 because that's how many times I have downloaded jarfix, guys. I download jarfix for every tutorial. I try to make the tutorials the best I can for you guys. So go ahead and drop jarfix into the desktop as well. And now before we start with all the installations, we're gonna download some shaders. So we can try the shaders on. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to download complementary shaders again. We have a tutorial on how to do that, a rating guide on how to do that. Anyways, the main thing in here, click on this button. Well, first click on the fourth link and then click on this button, download complementary here. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to select the 1.19 version. Just to scroll a little bit down and the 1.19 version should be here on the right. In case it doesn't come here on the right, you could always look for it here with all the other versions. As we can see, we have 1.17, 1.18, but the main thing, 1.19, go ahead and click on it download file and that is going to bring you over here we're in five seconds a lot of five seconds waiting huh we're gonna wait five seconds and that is going to start immediately here in the bottom left as we can see complement your shaders it should be a zip file as you can see i have a zip file but do not worry you don't have to open this zip file so if you don't have anything to open a zip file don't worry just drop it into the desktop and as we can see we now have the shaders and all the files that we need we could go ahead and close out from the internet for now we don't need well do not close from it because you might lose my video okay so make sure <laughs> you have this video open close from all the other websites and let's go ahead and start working the first thing to do before we install java i think is to make sure that we don't have any other version of java so go ahead and click type here to search and click out of remote programs or type out of remote programs and go ahead and open it and then in here we're going to type on the search list java java and as we can see we have java 8 update 33 and we have two of them so that is bad we don't we don't first of all we don't need two javas and second of all we don't need java 8 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of both let me just click on it and click on install and would you look at that the magic of editing i skipped through the process so you guys don't have to get bored seeing me uninstall java as you can see we now don't have any java so what we're gonna do is close out from here we're going to install java 18 if by any chance when you click on add or remove programs you already had java 18 then you're good but anyways i'm going to install it real quick so you guys can see now the first step to install 
install Java 18 is to click on Java 18, JDK 18, and let's go ahead and install it. When you click on Java 18, it's going to prompt you with an administrator sign. Now, you need to allow this to run, and then we're going to get this little sign here. Let's go ahead and click next, next, and let's just wait for this to finish installing, okay? We're just going to let Java 18 install. It should be a quite fast process. Actually, it doesn't take that long. As we can see, it's going really fast. Now, after we finish installing Java, we're going to get this sign in here. We're going to click close. We have finished installing Java, so I'm going to get rid of the installer so you guys don't get confused. And now we need to run Jarfix because Jarfix is going to make sure that Java 18th gets applied to all our jar files. This is a jar file, right? Optifine is a jar file. So go ahead and click on Jarfix. And when you click on Jarfix, as you can see, Jarfix run on Java 18, JDK 18 in here, meaning that all the jar files have been updated to Java 18th. We're going to click OK. And now we could get rid of the jar fix as well. Now, what we need to do is install Optifine. But before we run Optifine 1.19, we need to make sure that we open Minecraft 1.19 at least once on our computer. So just go through your Minecraft launcher, launch Minecraft 1.19 or whatever version of Optifine you're installing, right? If you're installing 1.19.1, then make sure that you run that version first. But in this case, it's 1.19, run 1.19 Minecraft, and then we could launch Optifine 1.19. Let's go ahead and launch it. Once you're here, click on install, and let's just wait for that to finish installing. There we go. Optifine is successfully installed. It's very fast as well. It's not a long process. And go ahead and click on OK. And now we could even get rid of the installer for Optifine. If you have Forge and you want to add Optifine without getting rid of Forge, just drop your Optifine into your mod folder in Forge. That is for those that have Forge and have a modded server or a modded game, just drop Optifine into your mods folder and you're pretty much like installing Optifine. But in this case, we already installed it. Let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher. As we can see here, when we launch our Minecraft launcher, we already have Optifine selected automatically here in the bottom left. So you can see it says, Optifine 1.19. In case that doesn't come up automatically, click on installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if I don't select modded, Optifine doesn't come up. So select modded 1.19. Optifine is right here. If that doesn't work, just click on new installation and make sure that you select on the latest release, change it to Optifine 1.19. As you can see, release 1.19. And there we go. We have Optifine. You can name this whatever you want. Let's name it Optifine. And then we're going to click create on the bottom left. We click clear it, create, sorry. And then we have Optifine here on the bottom, as you can see, 1.19. But the main thing in here is that when you come in here, Optifine is going to be selected. Now let's go ahead and click on play to launch Minecraft and to add the shaders. I'm going to teach you how to add the shaders in game. Go ahead and click play. Let's wait for that to finish loading. Now, once Minecraft 1.19 has loaded, we know we're playing the right Minecraft because this is Minecraft 1.19 modded. So we're playing modded Minecraft. Anyways, to make sure that we have Optifine here, go ahead and click on options. Go ahead and click on video settings. And as you can see, we have a new option called shaders because we're playing Optifine. So go ahead and click on shaders and in here i already have two shaders added but anyways i'm going to teach you how to add the shaders we downloaded click on shaders folder and when this folder comes up just drop that zip file from earlier remember we put it on our desktop just drop it in just drag it and drop it there we go now we have a complementary shaders added i got rid of my other one so you guys can see in game what it looks like in here see when you launch the game back up we can see complementary shaders 4.5, which is the newest one for complementary shaders, is the one that is compatible with Minecraft 1.19. So go ahead and select the shaders that you want. And that is pretty much how to add shaders in Minecraft. Now you could click done, 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 and you could go ahead and play and you're going to have shaders. Remember to zoom in, use your C button. And there we go, guys. That's pretty much how to add Optifine. The good thing about Optifine is that we could go here on video settings and we could customize Minecraft to make it run faster, to make it run smoother. We could edit our performance here on the menu. We could go in here and change the stuff to make it render faster, to make it be a better game smoother make it get more fps that is pretty much how to add optifine 1.19 i hope you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye